Libra, how are you? This is your weekend tarot reading, but it is divinely timed. Whenever you watch this video, it's fine. Um, it's for anyone with Libra in their chart. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for giving the video a thumbs up so it can reach out to more people across YouTube. Let's ask Spirit now to show Libra what is going on the next few days. What is going on for Libra in the next few days, please? Okay, forgiving and learning. <laughs> forgiving and learning, right. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Um, I feel like this is a message about not being so rigid, you know. Um, I know for me, it's like I, I can get a vision in my mind of what I want and get very fixated on that. And then it's almost like um, an addiction, you know. It's, it's like I... I find it hard to then be open to other possibilities. Um, and that's kind of what the ego does. It kind of leads us into this attachment thing and we can get quite obsessive or addicted to a certain person or a certain idea. And we're, we're too rigid with it, you know? Um, I feel like that's what spirit is saying. It's like, just relax, you know, um, Libra. You know, we just need to relax. Um, know that the past is gone. We can't relive the past. We can only live in the present moment and just be more open uh to the present moment and what it's bringing because the more open we are the the more unexpected things great things that might happen right um and that's what i'm sort of trying to embrace at the moment myself so um okay fairy guide now that's a very good card to get because that means that we have got spirit very close to us at the moment and i know for one my spirit guides are very close to me at the moment um i'm really um feeling their energy a lot so they're around libra someone in spirit is very close to you libra um right let's go deeper hmm. right so what we've got here is um you know <laughs> being quite businesslike it's like we've had some kind of realization and it's like boom you know knight of swords uh, we need to act on it. We need to make a decision. We need to be quite cold, quite business-like about this because we've woken up and we've realised there's something we need to do. Um, you know, it needs to be done. Um, something needs to, uh, maybe ended, you know, even. Something needs to be severed or changed quickly, you know, and um, it's been like, boom, let's get this done. In the process of that, there could have been some triggers come off and you could have found yourself doing a few crazy things or thinking a few crazy, crazy thoughts. But it's okay because we're coming up with this Queen of Wands energy, which means that, you know, we're going to centre ourselves again and be like, look, okay, we did what needed to be done there. <laughs> We've dealt with certain things. Um, and now we, we're more in our power because our energy is not going deeply into stuff that doesn't serve us. You know, like I said, where we might have been quite rigid um, I know I was about certain things I wanted to happen in my life and where those things weren't happening. It was like I couldn't give it up. I couldn't just let go um, and accept that those things weren't materialising in the way that I wanted. And now that I've been able to let go of them, yes, um, I am feeling more centred. I am feeling more uh, powerful again because, you know, my energy is basically not drained into something that doesn't exist, you know, Um and um, I'm more present and more powerful. And that's what the Queen of Wands is. Basically, you're realising, Libra, that you have something of real value to offer other people, um, that you're actually in a really good position, that your power is returning because you've dealt with something and said, I don't need to put my energy into that anymore. Um, now, the interesting thing is, as you free up your energy because you're not fixated on something or whether it's to do with the past or or um, to do with a, a fantasy, you know, a, a desire, where you've just completely severed it and said, I'm not putting my energy into that now. Uh, like I said, you freed up your energy, you're more present, you're more powerful, and then you're coming in with a Six of Cups energy, which is, um, you know, it's like, it's like a pure, more heart-based life. Um, because you know, like I said, you're not um, stuck in the past now. Uh, you're not stuck in a kind of rut or stuck in a cycle. Uh, you've you released, I'm being shown Libra, releasing yourself from a cycle that was a negative trap. 
um, and now you're gaining all your power back and that means you're living a more heart-centered life um, it means your energy is becoming more softer as well more gentle more more open um, you're more open to experiences now interestingly what could happen is um, somebody from your past could, could return who's going to help you okay and um, it could be your spirit guides returning. It could be loved ones in spirit communicating with you more. It could be an actual person coming back from your past who is very caring and who's going to help you. Also, you could be uncovering information from the past that is going to help you now. Um, you know, it can also mean even a friend or a lover returning. Um, so there's definite... Uh, a variety of possibilities here for Libra in terms of what could happen. Um, now, you're connecting with somebody here that's got the Justice card. This person, um, things are going to start going in their favour. This person has also done the same thing as you. I feel like they're severing the past and they're moving into a new future. You mirror each other in the sense that you're both... Um, you have both have a very powerful, strong energy and you won't um, kind of backtrack. I feel like you're both very present now. You've both done your forgiving and learning about the past. And you're both like, I want I want right now, I want the present moment to be a blank canvas. And, and I'm going to build from that point with, you know, love in my heart, being being present to my life as it occurs. But there is definitely somebody from the past, I feel, that's going to try and help you. Um, okay, uh, let's just see what your person's thinking as well, by the way. It's a very interesting meeting. You're connecting in somebody that totally um, reflects the same life approach right now that you've got, that you are going to be having, you know, which is, well, it you know, you've all got your own ideas on how you, you think life should be lived and what you're ready to do. Um, now, this person is saying, I'm ready for us both to be ready. I'm waiting for us both to be ready. Um, I feel this person has certain things they need to deal with. You've got certain things you need to deal with. Um, I feel you will get closer in the heart chakra, whether this is a friend or a lover. Um, but I feel it's more natural. I don't think it's pushed by you or pushed by them because I do feel you're both very independent people. Um, so it's quite an interesting reading. I can't really take it any further because it's already got going into eight minutes. But the main message I want to say to you is you've dealt with what needs to be dealt with. You're regaining your power and you're going to find... Um, somebody from your past returning to help you whether that's in a spirit person or person on the earth plane um you're also going to find that you're more open to the actual possibilities of life um you're going to be more enjoying your life okay um and i feel you could be getting closer to this person who is also very um business like about life who really wants to move forward with their life I feel you're going to be getting close to this person. That's what I'm seeing in these cards, okay? So that's the message. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for giving the video a thumbs up. If you want to book in, just contact me and I'm sending you peace across Gaia.